everyone, Jake here. So you wanna learn how to play the harmonica. Well, the harmonica in its essence is a relatively simple instrument to learn how to play, but like most instruments, mastering it is another thing altogether. The harmonica is basically a reed instrument. When you crack open this harmonica, what you're gonna find is a flat plate, one on the top and then one on the bottom. Uh, and between that is going to be what's known as a comb. And there are reeds that as you blow and draw air into the harmonica that vibrate in between those plates and the comb itself. And those vibrations create different sounds. That's simply what is happening when you actually blow and draw on the harmonica. So where do you begin? Where do you start? What harmonica do you need? How much should you spend? Ah, oh, the questions, the questions. Well, here's the thing. You gotta figure out what you wanna do with the harmonica and how much of an investment you're willing to make. First off, the harmonica is a small instrument. You're going to go to, whether it's Guitar Center or whatever music store that you have in your area, or if you're like me, you're going to shop on Amazon. You're going to find really good deals or better deals online normally. When you start off with a harmonica, you're going to want to figure out what key of harmonica you want to play. Uh, and generally, that's going to be starting off in the key of C. If you watched any of my videos, you heard me say that quite a few times. You want the key of C because when you're talking about the harmonica, uh, a higher end harmonica like this one, this is an E flat. The reeds are smaller, which means it doesn't take as much force air through them to vibrate them. Whereas like this key of C, it's more in the middle of the road. Um, I don't think I have anything lower than that right here is a D really close to the C. But the higher the harmonica key, generally the highest one you're going to find is an F or an F sharp, the smaller the reeds are, so they vibrate really quick. The lower the key, which is generally going to be uh, like, a, like a G, you'll find an A, they're lower, the reeds vibrate slower. So it, there's going to be some tonal differences, but essentially what it is, is you play differently on a higher end harmonica than you do on a lower end harmonica. And a C harmonica is right in the middle. Therefore, when you learn to play on the key of C, uh, you, you kind of get the, the best of both worlds. Also, the key of C is a very popular key to play in. Now, if you're playing in the normal traditional style, the key of C is going to be just that, in the key of C. And when you're playing with a piano player, lots of piano players love to play in the key of C because that's their starting position and that is where a lot of the easier riffs or what they learn from the beginning are actually located. When you play in the cross harp style, which is the style that you would normally hear, um, here's, here's some of the difference. This is a traditional harmonica song played on a C harmonica in the key of C. remember how to play it. But Oh Susanna, it's relatively simple to play. That is in a traditional style. However, when you're talking about modern blues harmonica, you're talking about cross harp or draw harp. This is going to change the key from C to G. focusing on the inhale instead of the blowing and this is going to actually you know, change the way the the key is either way a key of c is a phenomenal place to start so when you're looking to get your first harmonica that's what i often recommend however i love playing some of the lower key especially like uh, an a where you can get some nice gritty tones out of it. But I also enjoy like this E flat. 
because it's just so fast and so fun to play. So when you are gearing up for that first harmonica, this is what I always recommend. Keep an open mind that you are probably going to have to invest in a few more harmonicas in the very near future because they're just fun and the different uh, harmonicas i mean you just play them slightly differently and it's just a just a great hobby all right so you've got your harmonica you've got it picked out uh you've picked out generally a 10 hole what is known as diatonic harmonica where do you go from there well You'll see in a lot of my lessons that, that I'll teach some simple just blowing and drawing riffs. You'll see I talk about, you know, correct posture and making sure that you can get as much lung power as you can. Talk about holding the harmonica correctly in your hands and being able to cup it nicely. The biggest thing you want to do, man, do your research. Find out what songs you want to play and use YouTube. Man, YouTube has so many phenomenal teachers on the platform that it, it, there's really no excuse. If you say, oh, well, I've never learned how to play the harmonica. I never had anyone to teach me. YouTube is a phenomenal place to go. I've taught lessons on YouTube for a lot of years. My old channel got hacked and all everything's gone. But there are people that are significantly better teachers than I am that have some phenomenal videos on the platform. And just watch them. Learn a few riffs. Because with the harmonica, especially in the cross heart position when you're you know playing a lot of the draw notes, what, what I find is the most fun is you get a rhythm. You get a rhythm going where it's, Once you learn that rhythm, then you learn riffs to go on top of it. So you could take that. And as you build upon your riff repertoire, you can add more and more things into these rhythms. Building upon those riffs means that, well, the harmonica can be infinitely more interesting as you slowly but surely learn one more thing, add it on top of the other things that you know. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> now, one thing that makes the harmonica a lot easier than other instruments is the fact that you don't have to read music. So when you're talking about reading music, it, this is something that you really don't have to do on the harmonica. Because the harmonica uh, utilizes a, what we know as tablature. The tablature is relatively simple. You can see right here, these holes are numbered 1 to 10. 1 is generally going to be your lowest hole. 10, your highest. Ooh, shrill. Tablature will take and make some sort of annotation that will show you hole number 1 is the hole you need to play. The tablature will also either have a minus sign or a circle or some sort of annotation, or maybe an arrow up and an arrow down, that will show you to either blow or draw on the harmonica. Meaning that as long as you can count and get to a place where you can kind of accurately hit different holes on the harmonica, you're going to be able to play tablature and play songs pretty quickly. Now, where do you find these? Well, you can find them in books made specifically for the harmonica. Or again, you can Google on the almighty internet and find tons and tons of tablatures. There's websites completely dedicated to tablature. Plus, if you subscribe to some of the, you know, really good YouTube teachers out there, a lot of them will actually have lessons that you can buy that will include the tablature. And for those of you that already read music, it is possible to read music and play the harmonica along with it. Uh, it's not easy to do, but then again, is anything really worthwhile completely easy? 
But there's a lot of options for learning how to play songs on the harmonica. There's a lot of options for learning how to play riffs. That makes the harmonica man, just a really nice, easy instrument to learn how to play. Now, the harmonica is something that a relatively novice player can learn to really take to the next level very quickly. And a lot of people ask me why this happens. Well, first off, if you're talking about playing music, if you want to become a musician, you have a particular instrument. Well, you've got a guitar, you've got a piano, or a trombone. It's like, when do you find time to practice these instruments? Like you got your piano, it's really not that mobile. So you got to sit down at your piano chair and play while at home. The harmonica, however, fits in your pocket. You can take it anywhere you go and you can practice it, you know, basically anytime that you got some quiet. The harmonica is inherently intuitive to learn how to play as well because it's very forgiving. So if I want to learn how to play a single hole, this isn't something that, you know, a lot of people can do immediately. It's not something that you can do immediately right away. It takes some practice to figure out where you're going. But here's the beauty of the harmonica. It sounds good whether I play one hole or two holes or three holes at a time. Maybe in four. The harmonica is designed for someone that just wants to pick up an instrument and play it and not put a lot of time into learning it and sounding okay. That's exactly how it's built. That's why you can take someone who's a relatively beginner and have them playing songs almost immediately. That's part of the fun of the harmonica, is being able to immediately dive right in. So you, you want to play the harmonica. You're a beginner. Well, you've chosen a fantastic instrument. You want to learn more about the harmonica? I just might know a place where you can go. Visit www.jakeknowsharmonica.com. I've got some lessons for sale on there. You can learn a little bit about me and my story, as well as you know some of the harmonicas I play. I'm always logging in there and changing things around. So you can look for... Uh, New things up and coming on the Jake Knows Harmonica website. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I know there's not a lot of content on this YouTube channel yet, but I'll be adding things from time to time, showing off some of my cool harmonicas because uh, I've got quite a few unique ones. <sighs> Love that sound. Thanks for watching. Again, I appreciate everything that uh, you guys have done for over the years. And always remember, keep harping.